All right, so we are creating angle bisector. Anytime you do an angle, you need, you need to do an arc. Arc angle, arc angel, you know, good times. So the first thing we do is that, which means that these two side lengths right here now are completely congruent to each other, which either could be the bottom part of a kite or the bottom part of a rhombus. This is a little sketchy, getting a little close here, so I actually am gonna make it the bottom part of a kite, so I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. So anywhere along here would be equal length to anywhere along here that would be equal length. So then those two parts would be the top part of my kite, and that would be my angle bisector.